What's up guys? What's up cycling fanatics? I got some new toys. Pioneer power meter. This is a Jura Ace 9100, the new Jura Ace crank set. It's got dual crank power meter installed by Pioneer. I'm going to unbox this and install it on the bike, pair it with the Garmin, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so you're looking over my shoulder, I'm going to unbox this box and then you'll see what's inside. First of all, the box, the dual leg, 12 point analysis, crank arm power measurement. Knowledge is power, power is king. It does not come in the uh, original uh, Shimano box, so they have a new box. When you open the box, here is some kind of uh, leaflet for a easy installation. Ooh la la. Okay, so here's the crank set. I really like this color so here you can see the actual installation of the power meter with the with the unit so this is what it looks like I've got 175 mil cranks and I ordered a 5339 crank set because I want to have a larger inner ring because it's a lot better for the roads in the Netherlands. What else is in the box? Obviously the other side. Hmm. This one is the same as the single leg crank arm I already installed to my bike at the moment. And then there's a little box here. With a different color. This is the cap in red and gray. There's a magnet placing template that's for the RPM sensor. Some screws. For the caps these are the magnets magnet stickers for the accurate rpm and here is some information about installation of the crank this is the regular shimano information different languages warranty pioneer Important information to the user. Uh, not that important. Alright, that's it. So, it's pretty much as easy as this. The information says you have to mount the cranks, of course. Get the magnet placed, that's for uh, accurate RPMs. And then pair it to your computer. That's what, what I'm gonna do. Looks pretty easy. I'm gonna get it mounted to the bike. I'm first gonna clean the bike and also I'm gonna I'm checking my chain. And that needs replacement. If you wanna know exactly how to uh, use this tool and when to change your chain, you have to check another video of me. It's called how to maintain your drive chain. I'll tell you all about how to keep your drivetrain in optimum condition. Okay, now it's time to take off the old crank set and mount this new Jura Ace power crank set on there. Uh, I'll give you one tip. Start with your pedals, then take off the crank set. Okay, I took the old crank off. Now it's time to install the power. Oké, 
Okay, first look. Later. Okay, I've got it all mounted. I think it looks very good. I had to readjust the derailleur a bit, a little bit because I'm going to a bigger ring. Right now it's time to pair the crank with my Garmin to be able to actually read out the data that the crank is sending. There's an easy installation guide in the uh, box and there's one uh, for the Pioneer computer and then there's one for a regular N plus computer which is the Garmin I'm using. You just follow the instructions on the Garmin so it's very easy. You can use a magnet like I said for a uh, precisely displayed cadence but first I'm gonna pair the crank to my computer. I'll show you. On the Garmin we go to uh, settings, sensors, add sensor. Then we're gonna go to power. Turn the pedal arms. Power ID 46583. Four six five eight three. Say add. Four six five eight three is added. Now it's time for calibration. I press on the sensor. Calibrate. You should put this cranks in the six and the twelve o'clock position. Make sure the bike is straight, and then press calibrate. Calibration successful. Torque 0 0.00. Zero. One eternity later. It's been a, a while ago that I installed these uh, power cranks, and I wanted to talk to you about a little problem I had during the installation. As you can see, it looks like everything is going smooth, but Actually, I was having a hard time uh, to pair the cranks with the Garmin. It started by me assuming the cranks were not in dual leg mode. Pioneer has single leg and dual leg crank sets. When you have two legs, you need a dual leg mode because then it will send the data to your computer as being two separate cranks. There's four modes. There's single leg mode, there's dual leg mode, there's pedal monitoring mode, which is specific for the Pioneer computer, and there's N plus mode, which is for all other computers. So a uh, Garmin computer can work with this. I watched a video on YouTube, which is on the Pioneer channel, and it shows you how to put your crank into dual leg mode. Placing the battery uh, in the computer, you will see blinking lights. These lights will tell you in which mode the computer is. I'm talking about the computer in the crank set, not your cycling computer. If it's in the wrong mode, you need to change it before pairing. I started pushing the button without actually knowing in which mode it is and it all got screwed up. So when I wanted to pair my um, cranks with the Garmin, I could either pair the left crank or I could pair the right crank, but I couldn't get it done to have them both uh, displayed on my cycling computer. I'm doing sort of a test ride, but it's not working. Somehow it doesn't pick up both, so it can see both sensors, but it cannot use them both. So I switch to the other one and then it only sees the left. And I, when I switch to the other one, it only sees the right, but I want to see both. Uh. It took me the whole night, it took me hours to figure it out. Uh, but I went online to find uh, a Pioneer manual and I found the answers there. So this is the manual I'm referring to and here it has a uh, uh, explanation on if you see the lights blinking, what kind of mode it is and how you can change it into a different mode. So when I found this manual, I could finally uh, interpret the blinks of the lights because they were blinking orange and green and red and I didn't know what it, what it meant. And by just looking at the video on the YouTube channel of Pioneer, 
it was way too simple. It didn't really explain what was happening. So I really needed more information. With this table, I could find out what was actually happening with uh, my, my crank set. There's also a easy uh, explanation from switching from uh, dual leg to single leg mode or from single leg to dual leg mode. And that's the part that was important. After I found this, I could finally pair the cranks in the correct way. And I saw actually saw the left and right balance on my cycling computer, which tells me that it, it was reading two separate cranks. So I'm gonna show you some footage of me playing around with the uh, little computer. You can see where the button is, where to push it, but if you want to know exactly how to change it, go into the manual because it took me forever to, uh, to figure it out and I was pressing uh, the button at the wrong times for too long or not long enough. When the crank comes out of the box, it actually should be in the right mode and you should be able to connect it to the Garmin straight away. I didn't know, I started pushing the button, I screwed up the whole thing and then I needed to fix it. But I got it done, now it works, I've been riding with it for uh, I think two weeks and it works fine. This is it, I hope you got a good view of what to expect when you buy one of these cranks. If you want to stay updated about my videos, make sure you subscribe. See ya! I guess it uh, looks easier than it is. Right now it's not working.